In Korea, three years of combat end as United Nations and Communist negotiators at Panmunjom sign a truce. The long war undertaken to stop red aggression is over. The enemy holds less territory than before his troops marched, but the cost has been bitter for both sides. With fighting ended, a political conference is slated to deal with the touchy problem of unifying Korea and assuring peace. Neutral observers are already present to oversee adherence to armistice terms. And in Washington, a dramatic evening press conference at the White House sets the stage as President Eisenhower formally breaks the good news to the nation, adding his counsel against over-optimism in the face of the many problems that still lie ahead. We have won an armistice on a single battleground not peace in the world. We may not now relax our guard nor cease our quest. Throughout the coming months, during the period of prisoner screening and exchange, and during the possibly longer period of the political conference, which looks toward the unification of Korea, we and our United Nation allies must be vigilant against the possibility of untoward development. And as we do so, we shall fervently strive to ensure that this armistice will, in fact, bring free peoples one step nearer to their goal of a world at peace.